morning. My name is Uldis and in this video I will show you how to deploy EVE Community Edition OVA into ESXi system. What do we need? So first go to our website eve-ng.net, download EVE-NG and download one OVA image from our links. So I already it downloaded so, so I will go to remote desktop because I'm working on my uh, on my server in DC, but it's already downloaded and it's there. All right, let's start. Um, uh, okay, so uh, people who people who are using the ESXi will be familiar with a uh, vSphere client. So I will use the vSphere client to deploy OVA image. So I'm saying file deploy and find where you downloaded community edition vm oea so i'm going to deploy next next uh, name you can choose if you wish so choose the data store will where will be implemented so oea image is 30 gigabit large so i'm choosing my and about the hard drive the hard drive thick provisioning lazy zero it is good thin bad so do not choose thin provision at later when you will work inside uh, with your Eve inside of Eve hard drive are created the smaller chemo chemo hard drives and they could mess with each other if you will choose the thin provision so thick is good thin is bad thick uh, I'm choosing the management which is my management management uh, interface it is binary to my network it's a 192.168.90.0 90 um, okay and finish so deployment starts it will take a little bit time and so i'm going to pause as you see deployment is done so vm machine appeared in my vm list so i can go back to my native pc and we have to tune it before we start so I, we have a three options how to do it the big disadvantage for esxi client that we cannot tune cpu properly with ept function so with vSphere client which is uh, which you saw here we cannot tune and edit machine settings so cpu this there is a no option where we can check the ept op EPT function so I'm going back so we have a three choice so the first choice is to use your own installed VM workstation and connect to your ESXi I will show you how to do it so connect to my remote server which is ESXi and Okay, I'm connecting to my ESXi and you can see that all machines appear at here and this one is a new one which we deployed so I double click on it and we can check uh, we can edit processor and as you see the virtualization is on but sometimes when you deploy in your servers it can be switched off so we need to be sure that this one box is switched on is checked on okay okay the second option how to do it if you have installed your um, vCenter which, which is in my case installed a vCenter I can go to my VM machines so and here you go here is a VM machine and if I'm going to edit virtualized settings you can you can see that CPU Expose hardware assisted virtualization the guest host must be on it is the same which I which I shown you here for if community edition which is the same one here okay okay so must be on all right and the last one which is available only on the newest ESXi which is updated version 6.0 or 6.5 my present my ESXi is 6.0 and you can log in on a ESXi host over the web interface
and if you are going to virtual machines uh, we can check where is where is where is where is this one so I'm opening and edit settings and you will see that using the web interface you can check the same option here so I'm going to open a CPU and you can see that exposed hardware assisted virtualization is on so must be sure the next step how to tune it how to tune it so in uh, server in servers usually are a lot more possibilities and availability to choose a processor so in my case if uh, I have it's a 24 virtual processors and I could choose the maximum what I can it could be 12 and two sockets per each so 24 so 24 virtual processors I will not do it because it is just for for showing how to install but remember that you can uh, you can choose as much as you can so the same same question is about RAM the RAM is six gigabytes on six gigabytes only but you can choose and change as, as per your needs. So ESXi allowing it's a huge memory. It's I saw in my practice that installations are of Eve uh, having it's a 128 gigabytes. Yeah, it's a 128 or, or more even. So I'm leaving just the six gigabytes. It is quite enough for us to start this machine. So machine is tuned. The main point was exposed hardware assisted virtualization must be on. So I'm saying save and we are ready to go. Uh, power on machine. <clears throat> it's going to pause until it's powering. So the machine is powering. Uh, we can we can open a console and check what happens. So it's booted and he it got IP address from my DHCP server. If you have not, anyway, let's start to configure and finish this installation because it's not done yet root uh, check on a box root and by default password to see you can see it jump to IP wizard so I'm putting uh, entering a, a password which is Eve you can't see that I'm entering but it's there again Eve uh, host name I'm leaving as it is domain you can change if you need and the recommendation in any case is to give a static because it is server installation on ESXi so I'm arrow down marking with a space bar and saying OK and you saw that it got IP address so I'm assigning the same IP address which he got from DHCP 192.168.90.19 uh, right mask is 24 gateway is dot one just I know this information you have to gather this information and be sure that everything is fine and a very important point that DNS IP DNS IP guys must be very very good configured that you can reach the name it pings or or you have to be sure that your DNS IP is working properly with internet so in my case it is 192.168.90 Two oh one, yeah. The second server could be open one. Okay, okay, okay. And machine is going to auto reboot. So let's follow and let's check how it how it works. So I'm going to pause until it's booting. Machine is booted, and let's check how how it works. So I'm going to uh, root and if. So here we are. Ping the name at ping. Some something like uh, ping triple w's uh, google dot com. If success, everything is good. So and the last step is left, which we have to do. It is update and upgrade your VM machine because to be sure, I'm doing this procedure that's the last update and upgrade because you have to be sure that you are getting the newest updates from our repository server. So I'm doing apt get update and so I'm going to pause yet yeah, because oh it's 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 finished yeah and the second command apt get upgrade upgrade all right so 
done the installation is done and your machine is ready to to use uh, we can check 192.168.90.19 and here we go and thank you very much for